Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now, in today's video, we are gonna be doing a short, sharp video on this product, which is the Ordinary Peeling Solution. TikTok viral sensation and probably the most talked about product in skincare history. A lot of you guys have come to me and said you've had negative experiences with the product. Some people have said that you've loved it and it's mixed up your skincare routine and changed your skin for the better. And there's quite a lot of claims and counterclaims online. So what I want to do is get into it. We're gonna talk about the product itself, but more importantly, how to apply it to get the best results. And if there's anything you should avoid or any skin types which it might not be applicable for. This is a super strength product. I think a lot of the problems that you hear about online and some of the real issues that people have using this is because they treat a clinical strength product, which is what this is, as sort of like a treatment mask. You know, a little bit of a girly night in, slap a mask on, watch a film, that kind of product. This is a super strength peel. It's in the name and actually, I don't think there's very many peels or exfoliators on the market available over the counter which are as strong as the ordinary peeling solution. And so I think we need to treat it with a little bit more care, which is why when I see people on TikTok, you know, lathering it on with the dropper, letting it run down their face, then boom, one song later, they're looking gorgeous. It does worry me a little bit because that's obviously not the right way to apply a super strength clinical product like this. So we're going to get into it and we're going to talk about the product itself and how to get the best results. Let's start with what the product is. This is a beautiful blend of four different alpha hydroxy acids, which total 30% in terms of volume of the product and a 2% salicylic acid. Alpha hydroxy acids are amazing. They're not all created equally. So Different ones do different things, but in the main, they'll do a surface level um, exfoliation. They'll eat away at all that dead skin cells that are sitting on top of our gorgeous glowing skin beneath. By removing that first layer of dead skin cells, it's gonna let the radiant, gorgeous skin below break through and give us that lit from within complexion that we all crave. The salicylic acid is there to do a deep in pore exfoliation. Salicylic acid is gorgeous at going into the pores, binding to the oil and flushing out the excess oil, the dirt, the debris, the blackheads, the seeds, them, all the things we don't need in our skin and in our lives. So it's a beautiful combination which gives, I think, its potency and why you can see some fantastic results from using this product. The red, a lot of people mistake as artificial colorant. It's not. This product has no artificial colorants in. It comes from the pepper berry and some other additions, uh, botanical additions to the product, which are designed to calm the skin and prevent some of the irritation that you can get from using a super strength peel like this. It's a beautifully formulated product, and when used right, oh, it does wonders for your skin. I've been using this product on and off for the past year, and I've been recommending it to you guys and fangirling over it for so long, and it honestly has changed my skin. I use it once a week to just boost my exfoliation game and I don't think my skin would be as good without this product. Here in the UK it retails for £7. I mean that price point for what I think you'll get about 15 treatments out of one bottle. I've never actually counted it but I think you get about 15 treatments from one bottle. So honestly that price point for that many treatments and applications is absolutely fantastic for the results you get. Over in the States it's $8 so again an amazing price point. It is unavailable for sale in some territories. And I think this is where we really need to learn about a little bit about the strength of this product. Because of its strength, it actually isn't available for sale in some territories. I know that Canada and Australia are two, but there are other ones out there. And I think that just that just shows the potency of the product we're dealing with and why it's crucial that we apply it in the right way. So how should we go about applying this product to get the maximum results? Well, first of all, understand your skin type. This strength of product is not suitable for people with dry or sensitive or compromised skin. They do really clearly state that on the Ordinary website, but you know, we're all guilty of not really reading the instructions and just going head on into a product that we're excited to use. So definitely avoid this product if you are dry because AHAs in high concentration like this can dry the skin further. If you are sensitive because the strength of this product is not for sensitive skin. And if you have impaired barrier function or broken or damaged skin, this is just a firm pattern. Not only will it sting beyond all belief, but also it will make that situation worse and you just don't need that. You need healing, you don't need a product like this. For people with normal combination or oily skin, this is a holy, holy grail. 
So how should you go about applying it? Well, you always want to apply it on dry skin, freshly cleansed and dry skin. The reason you want the freshly cleansed element is because you don't want it to be fighting through dirt, debris, sebum and excess oils before it even starts to do its work. To get the full potency, you want it on cleansed skin. You also want the skin to be as close to bone dry as possible. And that's because alpha hydroxy acids are neutralized by water. So if you've got damp skin and you're putting it on damp skin, it's already starting to neutralize before it's even done its work. The Ordinary say you can use this up to twice a week, and I think this, this is the key here. I hear some horror stories online of it burnt my skin, my skin's been red, it's sore, it's damaged, and then you read beyond and they're like, I used it once a day for five days to really kickstart the product. No, you use this product up to twice a week. I personally use it once a week and I wouldn't recommend anybody push it beyond that. Once a week is far, far superior in my view to twice a week, which is when you might start seeing some sensitivity and irritation. Once a week to boost your exfoliation game is all you need. Applying it on that clean, dry skin and you want the smallest amount. I see people lathering this on into it. It looks great. If you want that thick blood red look to your skin, yes, you have to put a lot on. That's not how it's designed. So you want to put such a small amount on that it actually is opaque and you can see your skin through it. So I'm putting it on my hand here and I'm rubbing it in and this, that is what you need it to see. So you should be able to see a light pink to the skin. You might get some light foaming from this product, which is absolutely fine. It's normal. It's still working, but you want to be able to see through it. Can you see that? It's a sheen. It's almost like a pinky sheen to the skin. It's not a thick red application. As you get more used to using this product, you can of course put on thicker layers of product, but even with that thin, barely visible layer there, my skin is tingling. It's working. So definitely, definitely don't overdo the application. It works much better when you put a thin pink layer on than a thick red blood-like stain on the skin. Another thing to mention when we're applying this product is the application technique. You see people on TikTok, you know, they've got a Cardi B song playing in the background and they're dribbling it all over their face and then boom, it's gone. They look gorgeous. That is not the way to apply it. On TikTok, maybe. In real life, no. And I don't want to see anyone droppering it, using the dropper, holding it to the face. Two reasons. One, that's pretty grim because it touches the skin. The bacteria then goes into the product filthy. But also, it's such a strong product. You don't want it going anywhere near your eye. What I do is I dab, I put about six drops in the palm of my hand and then I use a finger to then apply it to the skin. With your fingers, you have much more control, motor control and um, precision than you will using the dropper. So definitely, definitely, definitely put it into your palm and then dab it on. It says you can use it up to 10 minutes and that's fine. Up to 10 minutes is fantastic. I see some horror stories of people saying, I slept in this. Why? Why? Why would you do that? And uh, just no. The reason you leave it on for 10 minutes is because alpha hydroxy acids need to neutralize by the application of water. If you're not adding water, it's just going to keep going, keep going, keep going. Eventually the product will wear out. But over time, you don't want it on that, your skin that long. It's not one of those products which like um, a toning solution that you can leave on the skin and it does its thing and then it neutralizes itself and good, you go to the rest of your day. This is a product you need to apply water to neutralize its effects. Leave it on for 10 minutes tops. And I mean tops, not 11 minutes, not 12 minutes, time it, 10 minutes maximum. If you're using this for the first time, I would actually go for five minutes. You'll still get a gorgeous result. You'll still see that brightening and that gorgeous glowing complexion, but it's just, a, a give your tie, your skin a little bit of chance to get used to the product before you go in for the full 10 minutes. I often hear people saying, I could only leave it on for seven minutes before it got a bit stingy. That's fine. That means it's working. You don't need to leave it on for the full 10 minutes, but 10 minutes is maximum. Now, we've got the application down. We're on our road to that gorgeous glowing skin. So I'm just gonna answer some of the questions which you guys have posed to me about this product, what it can be used with, and just some of the frequently asked questions I get. I guess the most common question is, can I use this with other exfoliators? Absolutely, but not on the same day. So I tend to use my 7% glycolic acid toning solution six days a week. That's a great product by The Ordinary. And then I will use this on once a week to sort of supercharge my exfoliation game. You don't have to use just ordinary exfoliators. You can use any exfoliator that's suitable for daily use. And then once a week, use this product, but do not use it. Do not use your other exfoliator on the same day that you're using this product. Can you use this product with retinol? That's another frequently asked question. Now, yes, you absolutely can. However, on the days that I'm using this product, I tend to skip my retinol in the evening, just because I think my skin is already quite new, it's regenerated. Do you need another product that's gonna increase cellular turnover and potentially remove some layers of the skin? I don't think so. So I tend to miss my retinol on the evening that I'm using this um, product. If you're using your retinol every other night, for example, then that's great. Just use this on one of the nights you're not using your retinol anyway. 
anyway, easy to fit into your skincare routine, but I wouldn't use a retinol on the same day that I've used this product. Now, some people ask, why does the product burn? First of all, listen to your skin. This product should not burn. Tingle, yes. Feel like um, needles going across the skin? Absolutely. That means the product's working. It's eating away at all those bonds that are holding the dead skin onto the gorgeous skin beneath. However, it should at no time should this product burn. If it does, just simply wash it off with cold water and you, it'll neutralize the product and it'll mean that that burning sensation will go away over time. You can use a balm such as the Cicaplast Balm, a thick moisturizer, just to help to calm and soothe the skin afterwards. But there should be no burning. It should tingle, it should feel like pin pricks, but there should be no burning. It usually means that you're either using too much of the product or it's not suitable for your skin type. Maybe you're too sensitive or you've got drier skin than is ideal for using this product. If you use this product correctly, you will get a gorgeous lip from within complexion and it's one of the few products which actually delivers results on first application. Your skin will feel baby smooth, it'll look glowing, it'll look gorgeous, some of the fine lines wrinkles will be diminished. This is a product which will work from first application, that's rare to find in skincare. So enjoy it. I want you guys to enjoy this product, I've left a link to it below where it is in stock so check it out if you'd like to, but enjoy this product, but enjoy it safely and use it as per the instructions which we're all guilty of not doing every so often, but make sure you do it in patch, patch, patch test before or you use the product. Quick to behind the ear, leave it for one day. If there's no sensitivity or irritation, then you continue. Obviously still wash it off after you've used your 10 minutes, but that'll show whether you're going to get a reaction before you then apply it to the full face. Hopefully you found this video useful. It's busted a few myths about common and viral skincare sensation product. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye.